Okay, check out all these people if you can see that. In case I forget or one of my nephews makes it. I don't have Ventures of Frank and Tina on here yet. I will put it on. And I had a lot of people ask me questions. Okay, don't buy the food bucket. That's a waste of time and money. Let's see this. I have to wear the glasses. Get one of these. Okay, it's carry-all. And we're going to study how I'm going to do how oh, this is going to hurt. Uh, never have black home. Okay. We have the case right here. If I can pull it. Oh. It weighs about 50 pounds. In one pocket. I have 30 packages plus 5 of Earl Grey tea. One cup of hot tea will always settle everything. I got 30 of these. If it's a real doozy of a disaster at SHTF, I'll have 50 of them. And they do fit in the pocket and I do have sweetener in here. And it's a deep pocket, so I'll probably look around and probably pick up some more tea. Now, if you watch Gil of Family Camp, uh, Gil of Camp Patton Family Compound, we were talking about food and stuff. Now, I always have a little bag of munchies, little nuts, some chewies, and some hard candy. If you have kids, you got to have one of these. Now, I have to bulk it up because January we had problems and I had to dip into it. And you kind of know it's. Remember, I had bars and stuff in here and now they're kind of gone. Okay. I do tell everybody get instant soup. All right. I usually tell people get about 10 packs of these. These doesn't cost that much. And how do you use this one? Maggie's well known in South America and Central America and Mexico. So you make your soup. All right. What you do with this uh, we serve it in Mexico and Central America and stuff like that. Uh, you add uh, cooked carrots, dice, uh, potatoes, uh, and uh, add cooked vegetables like cooked carrots, vegetables. Uh, sometimes I'll take a packet of frozen vegetables and I'll mix it in with this. See, learn tricks. That has carrots, peas, um, Carrots and peas, um, mixed vegetables, which is green beans, peas, and carrots. Oh, I do the um, Asian food mix, the Oriental mix, and that works out pretty well. Or I'll put broccoli in it, frozen broccoli. That works out fine. Everybody knows about these. Nors. I told my church about them and uh, let's see. Winko and uh, Walmart had a run on the white rice and this. When, when I preached to my Sunday school class and told them how to do this, they listened to Uncle Al. You don't skip around. I told them, don't buy the stupid freeze-dried foods for the stupid buckets. Okay. Now, I think um, Pennsylvania Prepper. I like this stuff. You see this? All right. Okay, when you have the, this is dried tiny shrimps, when you have the shrimp ramen, always um, uh, mylar bag, two bags of this draw oxygen absorber. This helps out when you're, adds more flavor and also add a little bit of protein. Also, I would freeze dried uh, an oriental vegetable frozen you can pick it up at the grocery store um, frozen oriental vegetable freeze dry that's already frozen freeze dry it put in smaller pouches what makes for one pot of ramen soup so you're boosting your soup like the um, like the maggie so you got this and a freeze dried vegetable works really great i did it before uncle has been through a lot 
So please check out Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania Prepper, uh, PP, okay? Another Maggie soup mix. I always like this one is noodles. Okay, uh, sometimes I add uh, boiled rutabaga to this. I really like that. Or I add cooked pumpkin or dry dehydrated pumpkin. It gives a nice rich uh, broth. Now what I don't have and I used it up was my dollar size um, uh, biscuits that goes with this. I get four good sized biscuits and gravy. And usually gravy on biscuits and I'll have a rice dish, plain rice. That makes a complete meal. It's carb heavy, but it'll keep you alive. If you're cooking white rice, you always want some kind of bouillon pellet to put in there. Again, old. Now this is for mainly for um, older people like I am, apartment dwellers, uh, people on a fixed income, uh, homesteaders. Trust me, homesteaders. Instead of getting a stupid bucket of you know stupid foods. Get yourself a carry-on. Put that over here. Nice little carry-on. Comes with locks. So nobody gets into it. And please check out Bubbles Cat. Okay. I have pasta side dishes. Now a can of tuna or a can of chicken. That comes a nice complete meal. And already, let's see. Prepared at 280 in calories per serving. This is a, uh, I can't see that. Two serving side dish. And that's butter noodles, okay? Now if you add dehydrated vegetables or freeze dried vegetables, you expand that. Same thing with this one. Uh, let's see, 270 on calories. That's two persons. And that's still pretty good. And you had tuna or chicken or beef or any kind of vegetables, plus dehydrated or freeze dried vegetables. This works really good. Usually I about have about 10 packs. I like creamy pesto. I have freeze dried meatballs. My friend has a freeze dryer, so. I freeze dried very lean meatballs, small ones, and they go good with this. This is about uh, 330, no, 300. Can't see without it. That's prepared. And with the meatballs, that bunches it up to about 450. And I got stroganoff same meatballs I'll put in here. And this one's 290. Still good. And that's about it. Like I said, I got to refill this. So let's see what's in the main case. I may have to do part two on it because I don't like to make long videos. Oh, God. I'm going old. I'm going still a little sick. That popping sound is not the suitcase. That's my back. And I think my neck. Oh. Ugh. Lord, they don't make these things easy for an old person like me. Okay, flip this open. And this is, I've been living off of this. So we have tuna, we have packs of tuna, there's four, and we have Tasty Bites too, and I think I got four packs of ramen noodles. I got two pounds of lentils and more tuna. See, easy, it's not that hard. Also, it's neat.
And I've got more <laughs> sides. I'm not kidding on these sides. I got five extra bags too. I could have put another one in it, but this is fine. That's 15 bags of pasta sides. I'll be skinny, but I won't starve to death. I do tell a lot of people, if you don't have the shelf stable milk, get the powder ones. These come in pouches, three, four box. It's fairly simple. Makes a, uh, I can't read this. Dang it. Uh, this makes uh, four servings, which is about a quart of milk, I think. Yeah, about a quarter milk. So that's four cups. I'm gonna put that over here someplace. I'm getting old. Also, my secret stash can of dry. Hey, if I'm gone, I'm gonna die in SHTF, I'm gonna be comfortable. I don't pull out the room yet. Okay, I do like this one because it's vacuum packed and it kind of got squished up. Because Uncle Alan, uh, let's see where to put it. If I can't get tea, I have this. I have an espresso. So I'll make coffee. I'm gone. Don't stop anybody. How do you guys? Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna need a um, food bucket, bologna, or MRE. Grow up. I have about, let's see, a pound of black beans. Now, I know how to cook beans. And this is about, let's see, a pound of black beans. If I don't eat too heavily and do it skimpy, yeah, three days. Because Uncle Ron used to do it before and I like black beans. You always have a case, a uh, couple of these, salt and pepper. I do have a spice kit. Oh, I do have biscuits. See? I did have biscuits. I was looking for this. I ate the other boxes and I ate the little bags, but I do have this, which is good. I got a pound of pinto beans, vacuum sealed. Okay, and I cook about a fourth of a cup because I know what I'm doing. I got more lentils. Let's see. I think that's two pounds of lentils. Yeah, yeah, two pounds of lentils. Yeah, two pa uh, pound. Uh, no, I can't read my handwriting. Pound of lent green lentils and uh, more soup mixes. And I get how many mixes is that? I have blind, can't see what I'm doing. I got four more mixes in there. Vacuum pack. Okay, uh, three pounds of rice. Now I have another of these in my food caches and I got cans and stuff in a food cache or cache for you stinking Americans. But anyway, I have this. And this is pourable, kids. Doesn't take rocket science to do it. Okay, and like I said, check out Hubble's cat. And that to be it. I'll catch you later. I'm going a little tired and a little nuts. And you've seen the big list. I just got to add uh, Adventures of Frank and Tina onto it because I keep forgetting. I'm glad I'm old. So I'll catch you later, folks. Stupid thing, don't want to work.